Okay guys, I'm back and I'm going to be telling you a little bit about technologies and innovations from the period 1450 to 1750 in the Netherlands. Okay, so between 1450 and 1750, the Netherlands went through significant improvements in their technologies and innovations and I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. So the things that they improved in included their maritime technologies, their financial, scientific, mathematical innovations. What else do they do? Oh, windmills was a big thing. Hydraulic engineering was pretty cool, and art and printing were crucial to their golden age. So I know all of those sound super interesting, so let's dive in to learning about this. Okay, so for technologies, maritime technologies is a big one, and this is why. So the Dutch created this super cool ship called the Fleet Ship, and it was the first maritime vessel specifically designed for maritime trade. It was built in 1595, so we'll make sure that y'all remember that, because that's an important date. And what made this boat so much different than all the other ships was that it was twice the size of all other commercial boats. So it was huge, you could put a lot of stuff in there, you could trade, like, it was great. So these ships were super crucial to their economic prosperity because they allowed the Dutch to, like, basically start international trade and dominate that. And they were trading from Northern Europe into the Indian Ocean. That's, that's important. Y'all should remember that. So since the Dutch had these fleet ships, it was super like great for them because it helped them expand their empire and just do a lot of other great things for them. And I think the main thing that made these ships so crucial for the Netherlands Golden Age was that they were the only ones who had access to these ships. So all the other countries were like, oh my goodness, like I'm jealous. So that was really crucial. Okay, another technology innovation thing was the Dutch windmills. And the Dutch windmills were created to kind of just like drain the affected lands from the marshes and lakes, like in the Netherlands. Um, but that was not their only use. These windmills were also used for production of oil, paper, all these kind of things, mustard even. And then another super cool invention was the printing press. I don't know if everyone's caught on by now, but the printing press seems to be a pretty popular invention during this time period. So most of y'all know that it just helps kind of mass, like, create paper, newspapers, books, all of that. And unlike a lot of us, the Dutch believed that they were actually the first to build the printing press. And they think a man named Lawrence Janzoon Koster was the one who created it. Sorry if I butchered that name. I have no idea how to say it. Uh, but yeah, that's some of the technologies. Um, so innovations. A super big financial innovation at the time was the Amsterdam Stock Exchange, which, by the way, was established in 1602. This innovation contributed to the trading of securities and just Amsterdam's emergence of their financial center. Um, I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to let y'all read more about the what, like all the stuff on the website, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about the people first. Okay, so first there was this super smart guy named Stephen, and fun fact, he was a merchant's clerk. So he was a commissioner of public works and also the quartermaster of the general army under, um, what's his name? Prince Maurice, which we talked about in government. So your boy Stephen was a super smart guy overall. And he engineered the system of sluices, which were able to flood certain areas, which helped drive off enemies. So that was pretty cool. Uh, there was tons of other really cool people, but I'm running out of time in the video and I didn't want to bore y'all. So I'm just going to conclude now. So as you can see, the Netherlands had super cool technologies and innovations during this time period. And it allowed them to be prosperous and just get things done. Thank you so much for listening and I hope y'all learned something. Have a great day.